My dream is to have a place where cancer doctors can interact with physicists, mathematicians, engineers, totally different disciplines, and help us understand cancer better. In the Translational Imaging Center, we view one of our main goals as redefining what's impossible. The work that's happening in this partnership really enables us to ask quantitative questions about cells in their normal environment guided by the information that's needed for the best clinical insights. We need ways of understanding the whole system. We have to have the ability, not just looking at that cancer cell, but looking at everything. So the idea of doing three-dimensional imaging is transformative to what we do and gives us a whole new window onto what cancer is, how it's growing, and why it's growing. Almost all biological tissues are intrinsically three-dimensional. Some of them have a large amount of two-dimensionality to them, the surface of our skin, for example. But if we looked at our skin in any detail, we'd see that there's 3D topography there that's really critical to its behavior. So two dimensions is the convenient way to take pictures, to take microscope images and all, but it's not very relevant to the three-dimensional world that those cells live and function in. Precision medicine says, I don't care what body part it started. I care what are the signaling molecules. I care the biology of the cancer. I care how the cancer interacts with the whole system that is you know, the organ of the human body. And all of those will yield a new way of treating cancer that's much more personalized that we can actually treat the cancer with the right medicine at the right dose at the right time, and that's novel. This notion of one-size-fits-all medicine has to go by the wayside, and we're not gonna achieve it by one single omic, if you will. It's not just gonna be genomics. It's not just gonna be proteomics. It's gonna be a combination of the omics and multi-scale imaging together are gonna give us a flavor and a picture of what's happening. You know, we've always had things like machine learning and artificial intelligence, but now we have the computing power to take staggeringly large images with tremendous amounts of data and apply this new way of thinking or understanding them to actually use it to understand cancer and to manage patients. So we're at this new frontier now. The advance in computing power has really changed everything. You couple that to the ability of doing this imaging and you're gonna make breakthroughs. We really are trying to not be wedded necessarily to a particular technology, but really to try to further understand um, biology. And so depending on the questions um, in cancer that we're asking, it really might um, need a, a different technology. What we're hoping to do is to understand how cells react to one another in normal developmental mechanism how fingers get patterned, how organs develop, and to use that knowledge to understand how organs can fall apart during disease processes, and also understand how we might be able to apply these quantitative imaging tools to understand both the disease process and the management of therapies. The goal is to live with cancer, not die from cancer. And so the more I can bring in different disciplines, new technologies, companies with amazing ways of approaching the disease, I can achieve that goal. And so we won't stop until we do it. You know, my job isn't to treat cancer, it's to change how we treat cancer. And the way that's going to happen is through technologies, and it's through collaborations, and it's through building partnerships with companies, universities, scientists around the world, and having their ideas translate, hopefully, to benefit patients in our institute. The idea of using deeper imaging, the idea of actually getting much more detail from the images and using that to better understand what's going on is powerful. And so we now have the ability through imaging technologies of learning so much more. And it's the combination of the imaging technologies with the ability to interpret that data that I think is gonna yield one of the biggest breakthroughs in how we treat and understand cancer.